Wow, it is too early for a weekend. So I'm about to get on a bus and head to Kent and Dover today. I'm really excited to get out of the city for a while and explore really beautiful England. Behind me is Dover Castle, and it's the oldest castle in the whole country. Um, you can take a tour there. I decided not to because I really wanted to be outside today. We uh, left the cliffs of Dover, and we are in Canterbury now. I'm in a pub, uh, the Draper Arms, and it is really really cute and cozy and the food is really good. Canterbury is extremely cute. Look at that pink building. Are we kidding? Um, it's also where the very first cathedral was built in England. It's where Catholicism and religion came to England, which is pretty historically significant. I have some appointments and I'm running some errands in Oxford Circus today, which makes me just feel very local because I have appointments here and I have to be in Oxford Circus and I love that. such an amazing long weekend. I am so glad that I did that trip to Dover on a long weekend because I'm very tired, but that's okay. Oh, the sun's coming out for a sunset, yay! That is rare. I love that the sun is coming out to celebrate three weeks here in London. I am so thankful. It's been an amazing three weeks. It feels like I've been here a lot longer, but I will say, thinking about how next week I will have been here for a month, that is insane to me. That is crazy. I want to make sure you know I filmed a whole other YouTube video about how to take photos while you're traveling alone. Lots of great tips, lots of insights that you can really only gain through doing it a lot, like I have. Um, so go check out that video. There's a link in the description, but then also in this little card on one side of the screen. Those of you who follow me on Instagram know that I've been learning and thinking and talking a lot about the importance of your mind. When you are traveling alone, you have tons and tons of thoughts. You think constantly because you are by yourself a lot of the time, which is totally fine. Some of those thoughts are amazing. They're groundbreaking. They're growing thoughts. But then some of them too are hard realities or not so fun feelings. So I've been learning the importance of making sure you're aware of your thoughts. There's so much power in believing your dreams will come true and what you want will come true because when you start thinking, when you start believing with your mind that they come true, you'll start having thoughts that will lead to actions that will lead to you making that dream come true. So, so, so important. Also towards the end of the week, I started replacing really negative thoughts with really positive ones. Sometimes you need to think negative thoughts. Like you just need to think them so that you can really digest what you're feeling and you can process them. So I'm not saying to ignore all of your bad thoughts, but when there are certain thoughts that you know is are just like not serving you at all and they keep coming up repeti repetitively, I have learned to replace those. What's the new thought? What's the truthful thought that I'm always going to think when this thought comes into my mind? And lastly, I wanna end on befriending your thoughts. I am such a huge believer in this. I'm a huge believer in befriending your fears and now befriending your thoughts. We get so much guilt and shame when we think something negative or think something that is either bad about us or bad about the future. We get so negative because we don't wanna be those kinds of people who think those things. However, if we're hard on ourselves for thinking those things, then we're just going to stay in that negative space longer. So when I have a negative thought, I always thank the thought, I thank my brain because it's just doing what it thinks it needs to do to protect me. And I say, you know what, thank you for looking out for me. I hear you. I just know that thought is not true. I know that thought is not going to create the kind of future that I wanna have. So thank you, but I am choosing this truth or I'm choosing this thought and this is what I'm gonna dwell on. 
Let me know if any of that resonates with you in the comments. I would love to chat more and connect with you guys about it. But now I'm going to go and write a ton of you guys postcards. I put on my Instagram that whoever screenshot my profile and put it on your, their stories and tagged me, I would choose five people to send a postcard to. And I decided to just send postcards to everyone who did it. So I'm going to go write those postcards and hopefully get them out to you all this week. Sending you guys some love from London. Thank you.